Hey guys, it has been a while, but we got another custom campaign. Uh, Bassy just released this, um, and it is The Golden Horde 2, The Last Cons. Uh, and here is the, the little intro blurb thing. As Tamerlane, you punish the Golden Horde and their insidious leader, Tokhtamish Khan. Now witness Tokhtamish's successors battle over the ruins of their once feared horde. Features three scenarios, slideshow, and sound effects to bring the Mongols to life, and voice lines, and uh, classic gameplay, and handcrafted maps from award-winning designer. Um, all the difficulty stuff. Bassy is awesome. Sounds good to me. And how long has it been since we've just done a good old, uh, you know, actual custom campaign? So it looks like we have the uh, the Mongol overlay, so I guess we're playing Mongols. But yeah, let's see The Last Cons, which definitely sounds exactly like the name of the DLC thingy that we're playing, but whatever. History suggests that it is easier to carve out an empire than preserve it, and the fate of Batu Khan's successors proved no exception to the rule. After Tamerlane had defeated Tokhtamish, the Golden Horde fell victim to self-destructive infighting and collapsed into independent kingdoms. Tokhtamish fled to Vyotals the Great, Grand Duke of Lithuania, and asked for assistance in retaking the Golden Horde. In 1399, Vytautas and Tokhtamish uh, attacked but were defeated by Idigu, an emir who had uh, defected to Tamerlane early on. Wasn't he in the Tamerlane campaign? Under the rule of Idigu, the Golden Horde experienced a final phase of prosperity, but the Lithuanians remained a threat. Vyotatas tried to install one of Tokhtamish's sons as Great Khan of the Golden Horde. Idigu, however, saw through Vitautus's plans and was able to fend off attempts and infiltration. In the end, after all of his brothers had been killed, only Kadir Berdi, the youngest son of Tokhtamish, remained. In 1417, Kadir Berdi left Lithuania with a handful of companions to sneak into Sarai, the capital of the Golden Horde. The timing seemed favorable as Edigu was away seeing on to diplomatic obligations. Would he return in time to prevent the coup, or would Kadir Berdi triumph and continue where his famous father had left off? Find out next time in another exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z. Anyway, I hear the Mongol throat singing, so I guess we're playing Mongols. 1417. The city of Sarai. Capital of the Golden Horde. Sarai is uh, in Tamerlane 3. It's red, I think. The big Mongol one to the south. Who is there? Halt, lonesome rider. What are you doing so close to the city? Stirring up trouble, no doubt. Oh wait, we're literally a spy. Please, I am merely a poor soul seeking shelter from this freezing blizzard. Uh, maybe you shouldn't literally be calling yourself a spy, you know? Do not even think about making trouble. This is our town, scrub. Um, okay. So determine the whereabouts of the cons that are currently ruling Sarai. Yeah. Uh, Cathlage and a poplament of 1 at 20. Constructing more ships is impossible in the midst of the harsh Russian winter. Uh, the various opposing factions have not forged an alliance and will not assist each other in distress. Only uh, Edigu is respected by all nearby Khanates. Okay, Kadir Berdi and his horde have made uh, their way to Russia and are currently hiding in the south of Sarai. Kadir Berdi's plan is to take advantage of Edigu's absence to seize the capital of the Golden Horde with a surprise attack. Sarai, once a splendid trading city, is now quite bedraggled. Uh, ra recently, a rather insignificant clan installed by Edigu has taken control of the city, driving out these weak occupants should not be very challenging. Edigu is not in Russia at the moment, as uh, diplomatic obligations caused him to leave. However, it is likely that he will return without delay if he learns about Kadir uh, Berdi has conquered uh, Sarai. Edigu's army consists of Tarkins, mounted archers, and heavy cavalry. Uh, the west of the map is controlled by the Nogai Horde, whose namesake Nogai Khan uh, founded the dynasty in the 13th century. He's the guy that always talked in the third person in the Ivelo campaign. The Nogais will rely mainly on light cav crossbows and Mangudai. Uh, the domain of the White Horde uh, is to the east. At the moment, this kind of is ruled by one of Urus Khan's grandsons, who's eager to avenge his grandfather. 
Uh, the White Horde consists of mounted warriors and infantry, but will also make use of advanced weapons such as bombard cannons. Uh, the majority of the population in the Khanate of Kazan is Bulgarian. Uh, as Kazan arose from the old Volga Bulgarian fiefdoms, Kazan will, for the most part, train archers, knights, and konics. I have already forgotten all of that. Khan located! Khan! Random audio cutting out, just like you do. Come on! Dup, dup, bop, bop, dip. All right, where's the last one? Oh. Oh, I probably can't leave the city. In the castle, obviously. Khan! Kadir uh, Berdi awaits my report in his hidden camp south of the city. Okay, I guess we should go over there. Oh, there he is. He looks a lot like Franislav. Ah, maybe that's just me. I wonder if the signs, if you zoom in a ton on them, will say something different than they did uh, back in AOC. This is what we're taking the city with. These are rats rule as if it was their city, but only I, son of Toktamish, have the right to call myself Khan of the Golden Horde. Oh boy, we actually... Why aren't you guys joining us? You guys just too cool for school? Uh, we're in Castle Age, but I don't think we can go to Imp. Yeah, we're stuck in Castle Age. Okay, so Sarai itself is friendly. Um... But I'm pretty sure, you know, the entire garrison is our enemy. And they are... Totters? Yes, they are, so we have to be careful with high ground. What are you doing so close to the city? Stirring up trouble, no doubt. In case you guys didn't notice, I already made that joke in the very, uh, the very beginning of this campaign, but Bassi, uh, as much a fan of the old cheesy AOC campaign dialogue, of course, included it here. Uh, it's from Montezuma 4, when uh, you cross it to get the, the the initial transport ship you get, you cross over and you find a couple of conquistadors, or like two or three, and then they're, they're like, what are you doing so close to the city? Stirring up trouble, no doubt. And then you kill them. And then life is great, unless you're those conquistadors. Or really most of the Aztecs after that. Really life sucks. Help! Help! Crusaders are attacking our Khan roots! Oh yeah, uh, Kadir Berdia does have to survive. Oh, we still have the spy, too. Man, I bet those guards over here feel foolish just letting someone literally named Spy go infiltrate them. Protect me! Who? <laughs> Alright, we should be getting Sarai at this point. I, Kadir Berdi, descendant of Genghis Khan and son of Toktamish, am the rightful leader of the Golden Horde. And stuff. Alrighty. Uh, defeat two of the three rivals. Okay. So, 
Oh yeah, we still have the useless guards. Ooh, Edigu is gonna crush us, man. Where are resources? How many like have left? I can just make one, of course. Anyway, we have three castles already, so I think our uh, our overall army compositional sort of game plan thingy is pretty clear. I do not have a mill. Where'd my light cap go? Oh, here it is. Oh, okay, here's some gold to the south. Just go up to three TCs. It's not like we have the, the greatest pop limit in the world. Ooh, plenty of stone down here. Oh, hold your horses, guys. Okay, so maybe this wasn't the greatest TC location ever, but, you know, it's all, it's all right. Okay, so I guess we have to defeat the White Horde, No Guy Horde, or uh, Kazan. One's Turks, one is Mongols, and one is Bulgarians. And I assume Edigu himself will show up at some point with a big old army saying, you know, uh, Bruh! Bruh! What you doing, bruh? Oh, did you get some latest? Yes, we do. Elite latest, even. Well, thanks, guys. I assume Toktamish himself has died at this point, historically. This isn't really my uh, area of expertise. Anyway, uh, Kadir Berdi will enjoy a nice life of retirement in the castle, lest I accidentally lose him, as I would very likely do. Uh, but yeah, we don't have the greatest pop limit in the world, and I feel like... Um... I shouldn't attack the White Horde because they're in Imperial Age and we're stuck in Castle Age. But we'll definitely scout around and see what uh, what our enemies are looking like. Oh, what? You're actually attacking me? Jerk! There really isn't any uh, space in here. much gold right now, just kind of need to focus on my boom. Oh yeah, I never got a bowsaw. Yeah, out of all the FE devs, uh, when it comes to campaigns, Bassi very much is the one who stays the most True to the originals, I guess you could say. Like, Fassy campaigns feel like they are, you know, more modern versions of pretty much the exact same thing you got with the, uh, you know, the AOC, AOK campaigns. Which is not a bad thing, no. Um, I mean, I guess maybe it is if you like the, the more RPG style uh, sorts of things, but uh, I certainly like these. 
And, you know, I also really like Philadelphia's campaigns, but, you know, in a different way, right? They're just different. Anyway, I normally have, like, high 50s villagers for, like, the 100 pop campaigns. And, yeah, here's the White Horde to the east, like I thought. So I'll probably get, like, I don't know, 60-ish villagers. See if I can sneak in here. Okay, they've got keeps, they've got fortified walls, got heavy cav archers, everything that sa says to me, Ornlu, don't attack these guys. Let's go to the west, where uh, I think they said no guy was. Well, no guy's horde. I'm pretty sure no guy himself is dead at this point. Bow saw's pretty good. And I guess we are stuck in Castle Age, so might as well start making some manga da. And I do need to start gathering some stone. Not that I'm going to be struggling when it comes to manga dai production, but... You know, forward castles are good. Okay, here's the no guy horde. Okay, these guys look very significantly weaker than the white horde. Like, I know their score is pretty high still, but... They just seem a lot weaker, you know? Oh, I can make fishing ships. Really don't have the population space to do that, but I just can't resist some yummy, yummy fish. And we can always delete villagers later if need be. Rounding out our Mangudai upgrades. They will, of course, form the backbone of our army. Kazan Soldier Charge! I assume these guys are in the north? No guy sold. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone's charging. But, uh, wait, they have 10 plus 3 attack. What? They're not Lithuanians. If anything, we're Lithuanians. We're, we're the one with the, uh, the elite latest. Look at these guys. They're Bulgarians, and they're going for archers. What plebs? Anyway, these guys actually have a way lower score than the No Guy Horde and White Horde, so I assume we'll just go for them. Because they're attacking us, too. No, not a light cavalry! White Horde soldier, oh no! Okay, we are actually going to need some uh, forward workshops. 
Also, Soraya is getting kind of pounded right now. I need to defuse, a, free up a little pop space anyway. Just need to bait them into our castles. Cat Rams, you're in Castle Age. That's illegal. Yeah, what the hell? Let's get some panic stuff, Lancers. Oh, these guys do have castles. I was like, I assume all the enemies have castles. Otherwise, this wouldn't really be all that hard. Um, let's repair you. Yeah, we're gonna leave the White Horde well alone. Oh, and those villagers never made it, probably. Gold running a little low over here. Uh, there's gold over here, though, so... We need to push in this direction anyway. Ready? Go take down the castle. Bombard cannons. The cannon of the bombard. If only they hadn't very explicitly warned us about these. Yeah, they're very... In uh, the sort of canonical Age of Empires campaigns... There are very few instances where you have a build and destroy scenario like this, and you face enemies that are... Oh, of course they have murder holes, of course they do. Uh, but enemies that get to Imperial Age, or any age that you are not capable of getting to. Like, off the top of my head, uh, Saladin 2, Reynolds Pirates get to Imperial Age and you're stuck in Castle Age. Um, maybe some of the newer ones. But yeah, it's pretty rare. Now well, let's just mix in some step lancers for the fun of it. Anyway, this one seems like a pretty straightforward intro scenario where we have some bad guys and we have to defeat the bad guys. Well, at least two of the three bad guys. Unless I, unless I am exceptionally dumb and lose uh, Kadir Berdi, I think we're all right. Not that I would ever bet against me being dumb, but, you know. Poke, poke, poke. Yeah, we'll go after no guy after this. Yeah, just a few randos trickling in. I don't know if these guys actually have economies or if they are uh, infinite unit spam. Well, I mean, they're not infinite unit spam. They're not like... Uh, this isn't a, a, a Tariq Ibn Ziyad scenario triggered. Uh, I mean, they probably just get resources in uh, 
in waves. That's usually how the AI is uh, is done. You know, like every 10 minutes or so, they get a thousand of every resource or something like that. Oh, hey, we're getting kind of wrecked at home. Yeah, those cap trams are pretty annoying. I mean, I have plenty of stone. I'm just, I don't know, being dumb. Oh, they have a whole other little town thingy over here. It looks like they are actually gathering resources. That's nice. I, I always prefer scenarios where the uh, AI is actually playing Age of Empires, so to say. The smart thing to do would just be to build walls, but, uh, you know, walls, walls, no balls, am I right? But yeah, these guys are definitely kind of pushovers. They just had, like, one castle that was, uh, you know, had to deal with that. May somehow have plus three attack on their knights. Kind of voodoo magic, them getting blast furnace, but not iron casting or something like that. Oh, you know what? These guys might be in the west as well. Maybe we can just magically not get attacked by the White Horde over here? I think that's a great plan. Oh, they do have another castle, actually. Alrighty. Let's get some more rams queued up. Let's get some more mangadai, some more lancers a do step. Let's even drop a forward castle, just because we're wild. But yeah, then that should be the rest of the Khanet of Kazan. Or Kazan. No, it's probably Kazan. But yeah, it said that the uh, our opponents were all enemies with each other, or at least they're not uh, they're not friends. So that probably makes our lives a lot easier. Probably just scuffling with each other on the side. I have a lot of food. Just make a bunch of light cav. Let's get the rest of my ar army over here pronto. Oh, let's not lose everything at home. They have drill too, man. Cheater! Mm. Was those petards?
Look how far the Mongols have fallen. Gone from concealing assassins in trade carts to just literally having them walk into the enemy city. SMH. Let's get some more forward siege workshops. Guess we'll just attack uh, no guy from the north. Not facing imminent annihilation at home seems good. And with this castle being destroyed, I would assume that uh, the Khanate of Kazan will be falling shortly thereafter. And indeed they do. The Volga Bulgars have tempted fate and failed bitterly. The blood of their fallen soldiers colors the rivers red. Even though Volga Bulgar is very fun to say. Oh, hey, Siege Engineer. Your siege weapons are of poor quality. Providing with workers, and I shall improve your equipment. Oh, okay. Hey, villagers who are now recently unemployed. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, let's not be dumb now. I don't know, let's drop another forward castle. Let's see what uh, this lovely siege engineer guy gives us. No, not the spy! Capable slaves? Oh, sorry, guys. Captain Ram and Siege Onager, or er, just regular Onager, my bad. That'd be OP. Still, I'll take Captain Rams and uh, not complain. Yeah, I was wondering when these guys would show up. I assume they're over here. Yep, see that? Oh, do I have to do anything about it? You little... Dinkleberg! Oh, hey, Edigu. You see, about that whole usurpation. You know, it was really all a big misunderstanding if you think about it. Honestly, I'm just going to get uh, Kadir Berdi. I'm just going to bring him over here to this castle because it's where my army is. I mean, like, our, our army is pretty darn huge. I assume there's one more castle. Probably all the enemies have two castles. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. But uh, we'll, of course, check out the White Horde once uh, we win. Oh, hey, uh, how you doing, my man? I mean, we're like really all in with this. Yeah, good thing I evacuated. Because he has a bunch of Tarkins, so they'll take down the buildings fairly quickly. Although well, the castles should still take out a, a decent amount of them. Our army population is nearing 100. Elite Mangadai. Man, this guy is just such a cheater all the way around.
Um, I'm not sure if they have, I, yeah, I'm not sure if I have to take out all of the production buildings or, you know, kill a certain villager threshold or whatever. Maybe I just need to destroy the castles, but, uh, it seems like we're in the clear. Well, relatively speaking. Ooh, Sarai is even getting wrecked by some, uh, Timurid Siegecraft Trebs. Okay, it looks like you ought to do a little... Okay, there we go. There we go. We've wiped out the Nogai Horde. The western territories of the Khanate are finally pacified. Good thing Sarai is peaceful and prosperous and totally existent. So, yeah, I don't know. That was, like... On the one hand, that was, like, pretty easy. Oh, there's more stuff here in the south we could have gotten. A shaman... Shaman? I wonder what those were all about. Definitely let me know in the comments. There's another one over here, an Orthodox Priest. If you guys are playing along at home, definitely let me know. But I assume this was all that uh, Edigu had to offer. And anyway, what's over here? You guys got heavy camels too? Like, their upgrades aren't very good, but they're not awful either. I'm definitely uh, glad we didn't try to go for these guys. Look at these flags, doing flag things. Being trigger markers. But yeah, good first scenario. Definitely good solid, uh, good solid scenario. Three very different opponents that you can go for. Nice KD. Yeah, no guy actually did a lot of work. Edigu had 66 largest army. Received three. Hmm. Okay, so maybe they were getting resources. That's weird. Like, no wood collected, but they're still gathering food and gold. I'm not too sure what that's all about. Anyway, that was Behind Enemy Lines. And up next will be decisive, decisive struggle. Might need a little repass at that passy. Might need a little re-editing on that one. Just saying. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.